Okay, so over the past eight years or so, I've judged a lot of water trials. One thing I've noticed in my judging assignments is that some people overlook the importance of their warm-up. Your warm-up is a very important component of your run. Are you prepared? Are you organized? Are you focused on getting the most out of your time with your dog? Remember, we are working here, not playing. Whether you're in a trial or just practicing, your warm-up sets the tone for your run. Hi, I'm John Brock, and this is the Underachiever's Guide to PWD Water Training, where the joy is in the journey. So at a water trial, you have a three-minute warm-up period. So what are you going to do with your time? First, and this is very important, you don't have to take the full three minutes. I don't think I've ever taken more than about two minutes for any warm-up. Now, over the years, we have adjusted our warm-up strategies. We landed on certain elements that seem to set up our dogs for success. In this video, I'm going to show you my warm-ups at every level. Your warm-up can be anything you'd like. These are just the elements we've found give us the best results from our dogs. Here is the most important thing. Once you land on your best warm-up strategy, use it at every practice and every trial. You don't want to make a lot of changes to your warm-up, and you certainly don't want to take this time for granted. It's too important. Let's start with Junior. Check this out. Please note that Ace is wet when he enters the ring. I always want my dog wet when he first enters the ring. This is for practice and for trials. I've gone so far as to pour bottled water onto Ace's head and neck before entering the ring at a trial. A wet dog is cooler and more energetic. He also knows it's time to work. My junior and apprentice warmups are very similar. We start with a swim to the boat and then a short dummy retrieve. Good dog. For a young dog, the swim is a lot of fun and brings out your dog's enthusiasm for swimming. Now do like a short dummy retrieve. Please notice that I'm holding on to Ace. Even if your dog is not really a flight risk, it's best to hold him whenever you can. This is especially true at a trial because you might be a little nervous. Your dog can feel your nervousness. I can't tell you the number of times I've watched dogs run off and the handlers say, that's never happened before. For junior and apprentice, any time you can hold your dog, I strongly suggest you do so. A dummy retrieve is simply an opportunity for a little more swimming and bringing the dummy to shore. My apprentice warm-up is basically the same as for Junior. We just want to have a nice swim to the boat and then a dummy retrieve. The difference is only in the distance of the dummy retrieve. Please see that Sarah is holding Ace. Don't take for granted that your dog will stay, even if you know he will. Just have someone hold him while you ride the boat. Of course, the swim to the boat is not an apprentice exercise but it is still a good way to start your warm-up for this level. The swim gets your dog going, and it's a lot of fun. And isn't that the reason we are doing this in the first place? To have fun? I also hold Ace on our ride back to shore. This is mostly for safety so he doesn't fall off the boat, but also it's just a good habit for you as the handler. 
do the working where I'll put them on the boat and have them jump to me. There was a time when Ace just blew into the water, but these days he takes it nice and easy. I miss the enthusiasm, but cherish every day we spend together. Dog, Ace, come. Handler note, as Ace approaches the shore, I drop down to one knee. This gives Ace a good look at the target I'm setting for him and places me closer to eye level with Ace. I think this positioning improves Ace's performance on this exercise. Oh, yes, sir. No, not for working. At the working level, your dog is working off the boat for the first time. On, this Ace. changes your warm up. A lot of people start with a dummy retrieve from shore, and that's fine, but it's vitally important that your dog gets his first jump off the boat during the warm up. This is true for working courier, and master. Be sure your dog's first jump is during the warm-up. Notice that now I'm standing in the water. Beginning with working, your dog no longer needs to deliver anything to shore, so you want to be sure to take delivery while your dog is still swimming. A clean delivery to hand, and we are ready to go. Gotta love working. Good dog. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Good boy. All right, sit. Good, buddy. Stacy, come on. My courier warm up is similar to working, except I add a shoreline Good retrieve. Boat. Have him jump. We get the, the blind, that'll be it. Good boy. Come on, AC. Here we go. Up you go. We start with a jump off the boat, then a dummy retrieve. Again, I take delivery of the dummy while Ace is still swimming. Look, if you're working a Portuguese water dog, you're gonna get wet. Enjoy the journey. Once Ace delivers the dummy, I immediately send him to shore for the line. The great thing here is Ace is performing a challenging exercise at very short distance. This gives him tons of support in his warm-up. Also, please notice how deep I'm standing in the water. Ace will need to be swimming when he delivers the line to me. I see a lot of handlers stand at a depth where the dog is transitioning from walking to swimming for this delivery. This is an uncomfortable depth for your dog. Either take delivery while your dog is still standing in the water or after he starts to swim. I prefer him to be swimming. At some point in your master warm-up, you want to accomplish two things. First, you want to be sure your dog knows to go to the steward boat. While this little element seems so simple to you and me, I see a lot of dogs struggle here. In fact, I bet 50% of the master NQs are on this element of the first exercise. Next, you will want to be sure your dog jumps during his warm-up. The first jump can be challenging, and in master, your dog's jumps are timed. Be sure his first jump is during the warm-up. Here I send Ace at half distance, then at full distance, giving him a lot of support. Once he's on the boat, Ace doesn't really like to sit, but he never jumped early, so I let it go. I know, bad training, 
but I like to pick my battles. So I send Ace to the steward boat, row out to jumping depth, toss a dummy, then call him to me. Once he jumps and retrieves the dummy, I send him to shore to retrieve the float line or the gear bag, depending on which package we are performing. Delivery to hand while swimming, and we are ready to go. Please remember, your warm-up is not practice. It's a warm-up. It's an opportunity to get your dog ready for his run. I do believe it's the best strategy to keep your warm-up consistent and short. Make it simple, supportive, and easygoing. No stress at all. I hope you found this video helpful as you prepare for your upcoming camps and trials. As you train, stay positive, be patient, have a great time with your dog, and always remember, the joy is in the journey. I'll see you soon.